The Cardinals are playing the Red Sox at Fenway Park. It's Mother's Day, so you'll see a lot of players wearing pink to honor their moms. We got pink hats, pink socks, pink gloves. Shout out to my mom. I love her. She's the best. But it's also Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN, which means we get the ump cam. This new angle comes from a camera mounted on the umpire's mask, kind of like a tiny GoPro, giving many fans a totally new perspective on the game of baseball. Right now, the ump cam is primarily used as an additional replay angle, but ESPN is experimenting with showing live pitches from the ump cam this season. The results so far are pretty interesting. ESPN only showed four live pitches from the ump cam in this entire game, but someone needs to give their producers an award because they picked the perfect spot in the top of the second inning. Both teams scored a run in the first, so it's tied up. Paul DeYoung comes up for the first time today. There's one out. He gets himself into a hitter's count, but Corey Kluber throws a nasty sinker that freezes DeYoung. From the ump cam view, this pitch looks completely completely unhittable. Now the count is full. Kluber throws another sinker, but Paul DeYoung is ready for it. He absolutely destroys this pitch. I mean, it's way gone. The center fielder doesn't even move. He just watches it fly over the green monster. A 425 foot bomb from Paul DeYoung, and we get to witness it from the umpire's perspective during the live broadcast. Take another look at this home run slowed way down. That was awesome. <laughs> I've heard the shaky point of view camera makes some people dizzy. There are some people who definitely hate it, but most of the MLB fans I've heard from enjoy the ump cam, especially for replays. What do you think of the ump cam? Leave a comment and let me know. I'll reply to every single person that comments in the first week after my upload. See you there.